This is the little Basenji that came out of the horrible hoarding uh, situation up in Washington State and um, at OAS and Guardians of Rescue from New York managed to get over a hundred dogs out of there and moved down to Arizona to a safe place here in the Kingman area. And they're now trying to find them all homes either through rescues or private adopters. So we just happened to see this Basenji uh, posted on Facebook and um, he's got very little history. I guess he was found tied to a tree in Washington and ended up at OAS and the OAS situation was really deplorable. I'm not sure how long he was there. And he is a little bit snarky and nippy. Um, but the Senjis are primitive dogs and, and they're, they need to be handled in a special way. And sometimes they do have some behavioral issues. He could be low thyroid also. He's got kind of a rough hair coat. If he's low thyroid, that could cause him to be a little aggressive. But he's only been here an hour and he's letting me pet him now. And right now he's playing with his piece of rawhide. So we'll see what happens. He's got his doghouse for tonight and the heat mat in there, so he should be comfortable. He's really cute. They estimated him to be about three years old. He does have some tartar on his teeth, and it's kind of hard with Basenjis because they, they act like puppies until they're old dogs. So sometimes they're a little bit older than uh, the estimates are. Guardians of Rescue from New York have really done an amazing job with saving all these dogs that came out of Washington and helping set up pens and everything else here over here in Golden Valley. Um, it's been a major undertaking. There's been a lot of volunteers over there. I've been following on Facebook and it's, it's very heartwarming to see so many people coming together to uh, help these dogs that many of which lived in crates for months or maybe years with very little attention. They say some of them have a hard time even walking because they, their muscles have atrophied, atrophied, but this guy seems to be in pretty good shape. Hey, buddy. Hi there. I got my first Basenji in 1976 when I was 22 years old, so that was a long time ago. So that's why when I saw him, I offered to take him... Um, and we have backup with Basenji Rescue and Transport if for any reason he can't stay here. Basenji Rescue and Transport will take him, so he's got a safety net. He likes that piece of rawhide, don't you?